Okay, this video ought to be fairly quick. Um, I'm going to talk about how to work with variables in the script task. And it's fairly straightforward, but I see this question all the time in forums, and I get it from developers all the time. So I figured I'd go ahead and shoot a quick video. It uh, doesn't cost me anything, right? So let's see if I can read. There we go. There's a the script task. So I've got a script task here, and I'm assuming that you already know the basics of script tasks and all that. We're just going to talk about variables themselves. Um, now I'm in the uh, Visual Studio 08 uh, Cop My Editor, so I've got this nice little ellipsis here that gives me a list of my variables, but uh, I don't have that in Yukon. But it's inconsequential, really. Here, when I forgot to forgot to create my variables. Okay, let's just call it bar one, and we'll leave it at its default of int. I believe its default is int. Yep. And let's do bar two. Why not? So I've got two variables here. Now I can go in here. And now whether I choose these or not, you see, I can. Where did you guys go? They're there. I can choose these guys, and they'll be put in there as user dot dot var one comma user dot dot var two, and you can just type that in there. And in Yukon, you have to. <clears throat> so I put these under read write, which means I can change them inside of there. And of course, you can have read only variables. Um, I, I'm not one of those that really sees the huge need for the read only variables. It's uh, you know it, it seems fairly easy to me. If you don't want to change the variable inside the script, then don't write any code that changes the variable. But I suppose some people want that extra level of, of comfort, so there you go. If you want a read-only variable, do this one. If you want to be able to change it, then do this one. Okay, so uh, once you open up the script editor, there we go. Here, let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see. There we go. Double-click on my script here. <clears throat> come down here now to reference the variable uh, we've actually got IntelliSense that works very well DTS dot variables oops sorry and then you just give it the variable name var1 in quotes dot value and I'm going to say equals 20 why not right and then I can do something with it. I can say message box, and then I can just copy this guy here and just read that variable and pipe it into a message box. I don't have to. I can put it anywhere else I want to, right? I can add two variables together and, and uh, pipe them out to another variable. I can do anything I want. Once I'm in code here, and as long as I've accessed the, as long as I've put the variables in here, and, and given the script access to them, I can do anything I want. So if I've done my job, <clears throat> I should get 20 presented to the screen. There we go. We got us a whopping 20 right there. Looks good. Okay. And just to show you, let's see here. You can, you know, you can do anything you want in here, right? I mean, I can say, uh, Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to say dim new variable as integer dim i as integer. Then I'm going to say while i is less than or equal to 10, <coughs> I want to assign the value of this. Fine. I want to increment it by one every time. And while I need to set my i equals zero, and then I need to increment y, don't I? i plus equals one. So I'm going to increment i so that it increments as well. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there and flitter, right? Uh, <coughs> And then I can print up this value. And now we haven't done anything with var2 yet. So I can say and uh, new var. Close that. And oops. New var. There we go. I want to do that. And I haven't 
actually assigned new var to anything. So I'll come here and say new var equals gts dot variables var2 dot value. And let's see, let's just double check to make sure I got everything. I got that. Uh, I'm setting that to something. So to there, I'm incrementing it. I'm setting the value here. I'm ending it. Then I'm setting that. Uh, it should be okay. All right. Let's see if I've done my job. There we go. So I get 11 for the first one because I. Uh, um, because I started at zero, and then new var, which is var two, is zero as well because I haven't done anything with it, right? <clears throat> so there you go. There's really not much more to it than that. Um, you know, when you're inside here, just realize that you can't create package level variables. See, I can create local variables all day long, but just understand that uh, that these guys right here, this DTS variable var two and var one, and whatever other variable you want can't actually be created inside the script. So that's, that's something that they actually took away from us from scripting from DTS that I wish they'd have left in there. But it's not that big of a deal, right, to, uh, to have to create all of them outside. So all you have to do is make sure that you create all of your variables in here first. Then you can, access, then you can set them up for access in here so the script can access them. And then you can do anything you want with them elsewise. It's good stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoy.